So rolling up to your local race or even your local trail centre, which might have some gnarly terrain on it, can be pretty daunting, um, much like the rock garden we're sitting on. Yeah, totally. So here are our tips to keep you safe, fun and fast. So Rich, you love going fast and have a racer through and through. How do you interpret a rock garden like this? Great question, Henry. Well, when there's a lot of different line choices, I'll, have to, I'll often have a look at like what's quickest, I'll look at what's most direct, what's possibly the roughest, and take all those factors into account and come up with sort of the best way through, generally the quickest way. Now, the quickest way in this section that we've got in front of us would be to straight line and gap over these rocks right through the middle. Yeah, I mean, for a rider like myself, I'm not so concerned with those milliseconds, so I tend to balance risk, consequence, and speed. Yeah. I'd probably be coming out on that rider's left and cutting through there to get a nice line into that turn. Yeah, definitely. You've even got a third line here, which is actually coming out round where you are, it's a, lot of, it's a further distance uh, and it's definitely slower because there's more turning, but you've got to ride within your limits sometimes, so that's the safest option. Middle is the quickest, and we've got like our halfway house for those who are feeling a bit in the middle there. Yeah, main line of confidence can often be a good option for me. For sure. Right, Henry, I think it's about time we put our money where our mouth is and get as rowdy as this music behind us. Yeah, let's ride all three lines and compare them. Nice. <laughs> so we've checked out the trail, we've checked out our rough sections, yes. we've done line choice. We think we can do it, we're confident. Uh, what affects you with your confidence, Henry? I mean, like pretty much any mountain bike, I've had some crashes which have knocked my confidence. I think the big thing regarding confidence is to remember your basic skills. Think of looking up, think of pumping the terrain. Something like those jaggedy rocks, but they all have an upslope and a downslope. They do. So think about that. You can break it down and give you the confidence knowing you've got those skills to get through it. Yeah, for sure. I would definitely say uh, going in with a really strong, positive mindset. Uh, if you go in sort of a bit nervous and a bit timid, you're probably going to go wrong. If you go in thinking, I'm going to smash this, you're probably going to smash it in a good way. Yeah. <laughs> This is potentially a tip for more of the racers out there, but I like to think it applies to anyone as well, really. And that is practice and repetition. Now, when you get to a tough section, like I said, at a race or at your local trail center, hitting that section more and more is gonna be hugely beneficial. It's gonna improve your confidence, it's gonna improve your muscle memory, your bike handling skills. So when you do get to that section at a different race, say, or at a different trail center, just tackling it in a different environment, it's really gonna pay dividends. So, how to set a bike up on rough, rowdy terrain? Well, that's the million dollar question and something lots of World Cup and EWS teams strive for. But the things that you can do is if you're diving through all your travel, certainly firm up the suspension, maybe some tyre inserts if you're dinging rims. But think of the basics. Tyre pressure is a real big one and body position is often king. So, if you're struggling with your setup, why not ask a friend to video you through a rock garden and you'll be amazed at how much info you can get from that just seeing how the bike is balanced. Hey. Oh. Hi mate. You alright mate? Now, I don't mean to be rude mate, or assume anything, Yeah. but when hitting these rough sections that we're talking about, mm -hmm. sometimes following a faster rider is actually really helpful now, you've been following me a fair bit. Has that been helpful? So, I'm glad you brought this up, because I need to acknowledge that you are a better rider and a better human than me in oh. pretty much every regard. But joking aside, following you, following Neil, following Blake, you know, I was a World Cup mechanic, not a World Cup racer. So for me, I'm always picking up tips from better or faster riders. Agreed, mate. Yeah, I mean, I still get it now following guys out there. Different people see things in different ways and that can open up sections massively. So if you know someone out there who's a bit quicker than you or a bit faster, they might see something in a different way, ask if you can follow them through. Yeah. I'm sure it'll make a world of difference and they'll really open up what you think you can do. And you can become a better human too. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Nice!
Okay, so that was our tips and tricks for riding the roughest terrain. I really hope they've helped you and you've enjoyed them and also made you a better rider. I mean, have they made you a better rider? Well, not only have they made me a better rider, but they've also made me a better man. How about we continue this conversation over a bottle of Chilean Red? Arr! I thought you'd never ask. <laughs>